Hello, I am Dr. Agnivesh Tikku. I am a spine surgeon at Apollo Hospitals, Navi Mumbai. I will be speaking today about robotic spine surgery. The robotic system was launched in 2011 all over the world and we are the first setup in Western India to have it in our armamentarium. The robotic spine surgery makes the spine surgery much safer where the screws need to be inserted, especially in those deformed spines or revision cases where the landmarks are very poor. With the robotic spine surgery, the preoperative CT which is done helps us create a 3D model of the spine with which we get the additional axial cut which otherwise we do not get in the routine fluoroscopy and we can plan the screws much safely away from vital structures. This can be done on the day of surgery or the previous night. Once the plan is loaded into the robotic system, the robot just replicates or executes what we have already decided and helps us to put the screws in the same way as what we have planned preoperatively. This is very crucial in the deformed cases and in revision cases because these are the ones where chances of misdirecting a screw and hitting the nervous system or spinal cord can leave the patient paralyzed for life. The robot is said to have an accuracy of 1.5 mm and is considered more than 10 times safer than human hand in placing the screws. With the robot, we can do the minimal invasive surgery much safely and with less intraoperative radiation, which actually is a very big benefit for the patient as well as the operating surgeons. Because of the minimal invasive surgery, there is less cutting of the skin and muscle structures. It reduces the post-operative pain and helps us to discharge the patient earlier. Robotic spine surgery or robotic guided spine surgery, as it is better said, can be done on patients who need implant insertion, which is the pedicle screws into the spine. The clinical conditions for which such an operation may be needed, could be a prolapsed disc, it could be slipping of vertebra over other which is called as lysthesis, it could be in selected cases of narrowing of the spinal canal called spinal stenosis and in cases of spinal deformity, scoliosis, kyphosis or mixed kyphoscoliotic disorders.